Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you probably saw from the sign there, I'm down in Ayrshire today, down at the River Ayr, more specifically I'm in the village of Failford, which is where the water of Fail meets the River Ayr. And I've come down because there's apparently a lovely barge here. I've never visited before, I've no idea what to expect, but we're going to check it out. So uh, let's go. This is lovely. They actually get quite high above the river, so you're looking down on it. I've got what I think is a heron just over there on the other side of the water. I think it's a heron. I'm liking this kind of thing. You know, you've got the, the reflections and some interesting patterns in the water. And also that lovely green tree which is kind of standing out from the background. Probably be a colour shot. I've got these these branches here, which are kind of framing that tree there, and even that branch there, which is kind of hanging over, is also framing the tree. So I kind of like that. Uh, I think I'll grab this shot. I did read somewhere that the attraction, wow well, look at that, the attraction was the colourful rocks with the, the plants hanging from them. And that is beautiful isn't it? Right, shot coming up and then I'm going to walk down towards the, the water side. This is lovely, I like the craggy old tree branches hanging over the edge there and then you've got that sheer drop with those beautiful colours, sandstone in there. And then just to top it off, underneath in the shaded area, you've got a lovely reflection of the river. That is beautiful. Probably a vertical shot. Definitely in colour, just to make the most of those vibrant reds and greens and yellows. That's beautiful. Shot coming up, I think. These palms in the river are just incredible as well, aren't they? Not quite as uh, trippy as the ones from the Monkland Canal the other week there, but still lovely. And it actually makes for a really nice foreground with that beyond. I'll maybe reframe another shot where I'm actually placing more emphasis in the foreground.
Looks like the depth, the water drops off pretty quickly, doesn't it, into the gorge? And then you've got a shelf, relatively shallow water further up. This is gorgeous. Maybe wrong, but I think that kind of sand area is the beach where I was earlier. Came quite a distance. I'm very high up. <laughs> this is uh, not what I was expecting from a riverside walk. So if you've never been, I definitely recommend um, this walk. It's uh, it's lovely, it really is. Probably could have done with a better light, uh, but you can't fault it, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, just shows you what a little bit of time can do. The sun has obviously swung round a bit, and then now, instead of most of the gorge being in shadow, it's, it's actually, the sun's there, so it's pretty much shining along the river and that's given us some lovely colours and lovely reflections and a couple of ducks over there again this is beautiful so I probably I'll probably stick to the riverside where I can now and just take shots of things like this, you know, the reflections in the river, trees in the foreground, that sort of thing. Is there a shot here? That tree has caught my eye, as is the shelf here, which is kind of pushing the river through the side. This is beautiful. I love the light on that little tree, that thin tree there. And then the grass just patches the light and shade. And on the other side, 
I'm going to grab this shot. This is this is lovely. back here, this is where I was shooting earlier, because the sunlight is that little bit brighter on the, the gorge wall, the reflections are that wee bit more distinct as well. I don't particularly want to go down and retake the same shot, but I might make my way down onto this lower path here, because I kind of like that tree there which has the ivy wrapped around it, and that's just picking up the light as you can see there. So that might make for a nice foreground. Light came back for a split second, so hopefully I got the shot. has made its way in here and there. I'm assuming it's the same heron, there could be other herons. <laughs> That's it for another video, hope you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, seeing a little bit of the river here. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful, I'll be coming back probably in better light, maybe first thing in the morning or even dusk but it's it's well worth a visit if you're in the area I'd thoroughly recommend it in the meantime if you liked the video give us a little thumbs up and uh, I'll catch you in the next one, cheers bye